Hi YouTubers, welcome to my CyberArk upgrading lab. This is uh, upgrading from 10.1 to 11.5 lab. This is infrastructure I created for components for CyberArk path solution 180. In my previous lab, I have presented upgrading the vault from 10.1 to 11.5. Also, PVWA, CPM, PSM still keep as 10 to 1 version. It was looking fine until I tried to change the password for my Linux server. I couldn't. I couldn't change the password. I couldn't verify the password. No matter how I did associate the root account, login account, I couldn't reconcile. I couldn't change it. The error message I got The login process failed And also other error message I got from account Let's check here The system couldn't find the file specific, specified here Failed to read from third party log file I did some basic troubleshooting, go back to here to look at the logs. Um, but um, to be honest, there's not much information I can find out to help me to identify what's the cause. I already tried the two different uh, Linux versions, CentOS, Ubuntu. So I gave up troubleshooting this. First, let's take a look at CyberArk documentation. Upgrade password vault web access. So the order you need to follow first is you upgrade the vault, then PVWA, then CPM, then PSM. You cannot upgrade the CPM before the PVWA. That will causing some issue with your platform. It's mentioned in the CPM documentation. Make sure PVWA is upgraded first. For PVWA upgrading, uh, let's look at the uh, before upgrading documentation. Is there any pre-requirement? So there's the backup folders and files. We have snapshot, so we are good on that. Compatibility, .NET Framework 4.5.2, Vault must be running. So we meet all those requirements, I believe. System requirements by product. PVWA as component to compatibility. So to run PVWA 11.5, you need to CPM at 11.2. You need to digital out at least 11.2. PSM, we are good. So at this moment, CPM, we are running on 10.1. Vault is 11.5. So, okay, let's give it a try. We upgrade the PVWA first, then we do CPM second. Here is the process to upgrade the PVWA. Most likely, we just need to double click the setup.exe file or right click it, run as administrator. Let's do that. This is our PVWA server. We can close our browser, C drive. 11.5 installation files run as administrator the server will perform an upgrade of PVWA 10.1.1 do you want to continue? of course yes next It is asking Valve Server IP and the PVWA URL. We will not change that, so keep it exactly the same. This is a Vault Server username password.
Great, complete telev installation. It took probably five minutes. Let's close this one. Sit down and reboot the machine. Reboot to the CyberArk PVWA server. Now I logged in and then I'm trying to access to it and it seems like it's already upgraded. Try my luck to see if I can log in. It works. So all PVWA components seems working. We can take a look at um, the policies, the safes, and the accounts. Also, the monitoring is not here. Health status looks okay. Let's try if we can connect to remote. It's a little bit slow, but eventually it's a launch session. You have been recorded. The message is showing there. Connection timed out. The server isn't up actually, but the process is there. Um, we can try connect to this one. That works well. Let's do connect to those uh, Linux machines. It's connected successfully. It's connected successfully. And also you see this uh, in a CP component there. But now let's give it a try. You have been recorded. Yep, it's working so perfectly. Yeah, you can say yes. Session started. No complaints. Works very well. well.